Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Hi friends, I am on my way home from work right now. Today was interesting. I had an early start, which was not the funnest. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, and it's spring break for the oldest, so I had all three today all day long. And because of that, they were particularly rowdy, which is interesting. And the baby has been sick. So, yeah. Today was quite an eventful day. Lots of timeouts, lots of, you know, incidents, injuries, all that. Um, the baby is particularly sensitive because of being sick and all that. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of a day. And it's over though. I get to go home and it's my rest day for my workout. So I don't have to even work out when I get home. And that's lovely. <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't get very much sleep because I went to bed around like 11. I think was about when I was trying to fall asleep because I was in bed for a while. But I just wasn't, you know, I just kept watching shows and I wasn't able to like actually fall asleep. And then by the time um, I actually fell asleep was probably a lot later than that. And then I had to be up at 4.30. So you do the math. But that's okay. Um, kind of. Because I have to do that tomorrow. Ooh, do you see that laundry? I did like four loads of laundry. Because I had my laundry, the house laundry. I uh, did my bedding. Um, just like, <laughs> just so much laundry. I was doing laundry all day. And I folded theirs because they let me use their washing machine and dryer, which I greatly appreciate. So whenever they have laundry in theirs, I usually do it for them. So I will switch their loads or I will um, fold what's in their dryer or whatever. Just, you know, usually I do that anyway, just as an extra, like, thanks for being awesome and um, awesome employers. But then also, if I'm about to do mine and theirs is in there, then I just finish the job so yeah um near the end of the day I started playing hide and seek with the boys because I was like if I keep them to their own choices they're gonna get themselves in timeout yet again today and I was like let me just distract them so I um we started playing first tag with a ball so we have like a really soft it's actually a snowball that comes in a kit they have so it's like a big fluffy like cotton ball type thing. Like I had a cotton ball but like a cotton soft ball. So we um, would like chase each other and then you'd have to throw it to tag them instead of like touching them because that can get a little crazy when you have little boys who want to shove each other and hit each other when they're tagging. So it's a much more gentle way. Then we started playing because they were getting, they don't, it's weird, like, although they would have a lot of energy, they kind of give out pretty quick. Like, my endurance is much more than theirs. Oh, we played Twister this morning, too, which was quite interesting, being an adult playing it. I'm, I'm better than I thought, and I think that's because of my workouts, so that's cool, but definitely that's something. Um, but... Okay, so then we started playing hide and seek, and then when you found the person, you had to like still hit them with the ball, the very, very soft ball. And that was pretty fun, because the older one's a pretty good hider, and the younger one is actually a pretty good finder. I was surprised. Um, I figured I was gonna, you know, stay in my hiding place for like nine hours, but it was pretty fun, and I was like pretty good. I was pretty good at hiding, and like being able to find spots for that fit my size because when you're a little kid there's like a thousand places to hide but the bigger you are the, you know, the smaller amount of hiding places so anyway um that was really fun and I hid like you know the usual places like in the shower they like went up on the sides of it to like extra try and hide like behind doors crouching in different places and it was really fun and um the time that I was the time that I was in the shower 
I could hear what they were doing the whole time. It's a two-story house, by the way, so I could hear when they're going up and stairs, up and down the stairs, and I could hear like where they're hiding. Um, and the baby, he was just kind of wandering around. So there were a few times where like I would be hiding. There's one time I had to like shoo him away from me, but there were a few times where like the older one would be hiding, and all I would hear was like, "No, go away." <laughs> like oh man he's about to blow up his spot so luckily in this hiding spot that didn't happen to me and I got to hide in it twice in a row but when um when I was hiding once they found once the younger two found each other they were like that's funny Miss Jackie so they start looking for me and the older ones like look anywhere you can think of and like look really hard definitely look in the pantry because she's good at hiding in there. Like, I was like, man, that's messed up. Like, I hid in there once and now that's like my spot, I guess. But all in all, even though they kind of messed up quite a bit today and lost their show that they can earn every day and they lost their toy that they could earn, like even though they did all that and went to lots of timeouts, uh, it was still a pretty good day. So, and like I said before, like the stuff they do is so minor compared to like other kids with their tantrums and just like refusal to like fall in line. <laughs> they, I mean, their their stuff is so minor that it's like I have to enforce what the rules are and I have to like stay on them to know like no, these things are not okay and we're not gonna like put up with it. But at the same time those things that we're on them about are so minor compared to other kids and it's like still not bad. So yeah, um, I watched The People vs. OJ last night and it was pretty good. Um, I gotta be honest, I was a little distracted with the fact that I had to be up so early so I was like trying to make my lunch in between commercials which somewhat went over into the show and I was trying to like set my outfit out and basically do everything I could do the night before so that I wouldn't have to wake up as early. So I was a little distracted yesterday but what I did see, which was still most of it, um, was really good. The jurors were a-holes. <laughs> I can't imagine try like being Marsha like they didn't take it seriously and they lied on their questionnaires and they just were just they just didn't want to be there and I mean you can't fully blame them because it lasted so long and they weren't told that initially that it was going to be that long it was like four times the length that they said it would be and they were sequestered like no books TV magazines like I mean, think about that. Like, you can't talk to your friends and family. They couldn't really talk to each other about very much. They couldn't leave their room for anything. And it was for like a year. Like, I mean, I could imagine, but at the same time, it's like, he murdered two people. Like, you're so concerned with trying to get off and whatever. So, I don't know. So yeah, I will check with you guys later and let you know how the rest of my night goes, which I can tell you right now, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat some dinner. I'm going to maybe take a bath. I'm going to relax. And then I'm going to go to sleep real early after I set up as much as I can do the night before for tomorrow because I have to wake up super early tomorrow yet again and I just... I have two things that should be delivered today. Um, I bought a multi-pack from Philosophy, Philosophy, in the fresh cream. I showed you guys my hand soap and hand cream the other day. Um, so I get their body wash and body lotion. Is it called lotion? I get those. Um, I have for quite a few times now gotten their like jumbo huge ones from QVC and this last time because I've been exfoliating and tanning and all that I decided they have a trio pack with the jumbo sizes and the third one in the trio is the same scent and it's like an olive oil scrub and I was like ooh I've been scrubbing my body a lot and I've been using just straight up sugar but this smells like the stuff I like and it's not that much more expensive so I was like might as well just like give it a try and if not I can still use it to exfoliate and then go back to sugar when I run out I don't know so although sugar is more natural obviously and a lot cheaper I'm sure it was just kind of one of those 
it was just kind of one of those things where I saw, you know, the set and it wasn't that much more expensive and I was like, I love that scent so I will just try it. So yeah, that should be arriving tonight and then I also got another thing. Oh, and I got more of my uh, Beachbody stuff the other day in the mail. The, um, the Recover and Energize stuff that I've been taking before my workouts and after. Um, I was getting low on it and I don't know that I'm going to continue this for forever but I definitely want to like I think it's a 60 day program maybe it's a 90 day program I'm not sure but whatever it is the full length of the program I want to take those things before and after for the full length just to like get the best result I can I've been sticking to my diet like really well and I just want to kind of just give it a real good go at it so um, more of that came in so that I don't have to go without it for a while while it's being shipped to me or whatever which I was getting worried about because I probably have like maybe two or three scoops left and then I would have been out and, and I still have a lot of the energized left but honestly that's kind of one of those things that you could take like at any point if you just wanted like more energy for your workout and although I might not continue the recover supplement or this specific program I will continue to work out for the rest of my life so that stuff can always, you know, come in handy on a day I'm feeling not as energized as I would like. So yeah, I'll be home soon and I will fill you guys in on the rest of my night. And that's all folks. Love you. Bye. Hi friends. Don't freak out. Yes, I'm in the bath. We all do it. It's cool. Don't worry. So before I sign off for tonight, I was reminded of something that happened this morning that I just had to share with you. So this morning, it all started at 4.30 a.m. I went to take a shower in the morning, which I normally don't do. I'm a bath person, I take a bath at night. It's all good. But last night I tanned, and so in the morning I needed to rinse off the color block and take care of business, you know? Why did I say that? But this morning I needed to take off the color block, so I had to take a shower this morning. So I go start the water, grab my loofah, put a couple squirts of my soap on it, ready to step in the shower, and I notice that there is a brown dot on my loofah. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. I colored my hair last night right next to it, though, so I must have gotten color on it. Weird. Then the brown dot starts moving. And I'm like, that's a cockroach. Okay. And obviously, the whole house is sleeping, so I don't want to wake them, so I just quietly, calmly just hmm, look him into the tub and grab the closest bottle of shampoo and just stab the hell out of him <laughs> till he dies. And then I move on with my shower because I don't have time because I have a very short amount of time before I need to get to work. So that was the start to my morning. So I guess in a way you could say I played hide and seek with more than just little boys today. I also played with cockroach. Awesome. Great start. So, <laughs> now that I've shared that little beauty with you, um, yes, my makeup looks crazy. It's all coming off, but that's okay, because I'm about to wash it off. Oh, Blizzie's barking. Maybe my package has arrived. But, um, I'm going to finish my bath, have dinner, and then I will be going definitely to sleep. So I'm going to sign up for tonight, and I will see you all tomorrow, and hopefully I will have no cockroach stories for you tomorrow. But we'll see. Every day is a new adventure. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.